Today we're going to be exploring the world of makeup tutorials, high-end ones, that is. That's where we're getting kind of fancy. Uh, joining me is the super talented and beautiful Keisha. Hello everyone, I'm so excited to share my personal tips and tricks alongside Soul's expert advice. Lighting is extremely crucial. One of the most important things when you're shooting a makeup tutorial is lighting, because you don't want to look like a gremlin. Uh, what the hell is that? I would recommend using something such as the newer panel light. It also comes with a really cool app where you can adjust the temperature to suit your skin tone. Absolutely. I think lighting is so important and I also use this light. I think that the most important thing is that you can go from cool to warm. As a woman of color, our lighting has to be right. In my videos, I always ensure that the camera is stable. It keeps the focus on the makeup and not the movie. So after you've set up your amazing lights and you look like a fucking beauty queen, picture of a beauty queen. You want to make sure you're not an action movie or earthquake. An earthquake. How strong is it, Harris? It's very important to stabilize your phone. So in this scenario, because we have a mirror, we're using a suction phone mount. You can just place it inside of it and that will help stabilize your phone. This particular one, you can kind of turn it in different directions if you want to change the angle of your video. Angles are extremely important. I mean, I don't have to say that. You are doing makeup tutorials. You know what your good angles are. No, oh, this way you get all optimal angles. So they are very important. You want to capture the overall look and the fine details of your makeup application. Having those dynamic moments of changing the shot helps the viewer get a little closer look. And it also keeps the video engaging to where you're not bored out of your mind. If I'm bored. They want to get to the end of the video because it's one angle. I always aim to keep my main features in the top two thirds of the frame. It's just visually more appealing. The next important step to be able to use your iPhone to its maximum capabilities. Instead of using the native app for the camera itself, you download the Blackmagic camera app. By the way, they did not sponsor this. I just love the app myself. It gives you incredible control over your exposure, focus, and white balance, which are three important factors to shooting a successful makeup tutorial. I love the control that this app offers. It's like being both the director and the star of your own show. So you want to start by setting up your white balance according to your lighting. Next, you want to adjust your exposure, which is the shutter speed in the Blackmagic camera app to avoid overblown highlights. Last, you want to make sure that you are in focus by turning on the focus peaking, which shows you where it's focused, or you just do an autofocus, which the camera app does seamlessly, and then you can start shooting. Lights, camera, action. These settings are so, so crucial. They help in making sure that the makeup colors are true to life. You're probably wondering, how can I see myself? The next step would be to screen mirror your phone to your MacBook. Let's you see what your audience would see and yourself. So you're not blindly putting on makeup. So remember, having all of these crucial elements is key for a successful high-end makeup tutorial. We're in a glam room, but you can find a space that works for you. Thanks, Soul. These tips are game changers. I cannot wait to apply them in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Happy filming in your space. I wish I would have recorded this, the first one, god damn it. So, so remember, if you have a professional setup, then it will be a professional video.